The Court of Public Opinion is a part of the Amateur Radio Network. Welcome to the Court of Public Opinion, and we're having an important discussion about uh, feminism and the Bible. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible about the woman who rides the beast, and I want you to know that so much feminism has caused uh, a family, a home, to break up. And my dad had talked about this, about the breakup of a family and how they use foster care or other ways to break up a family. And in a lot of times, neighborhoods, and it, it brings total division, especially if there's false imprisonment or false accusations. So I'm going to show you some artwork that we created. And that's a broken home that's healing. And there's a lot of other artwork things that we've done in art therapy and counseling. And... It's an emotional topic, but the breakup of a family is quite common. And we were, I wanted to bring this topic up because I felt like there's a lot of families that are broken and a lot of them had no abuse at all going on. But yet the system is trying to keep itself going, you know. So the foster care system is one of them. It's been pretty corrupt. And um, I'm doing this post because uh, we were introduced to foster care in 1985. And I see the breakup of a family and how children's lives are no longer... The children don't go out and play anymore. They don't go to the... the, the nowadays, it's the COVID. And now it's the contact tracing. The thing I want to bring up here is we're going to be listening to a broadcast um, here shortly. I'll put the link below. Um but it's, it goes back to constitutional freedoms. Um, your children have constitutional freedoms, by the way, if you didn't know that. But the contact contact tracing is now uh, the next issue. And it's all infringing on the Constitution. And nowhere in the Constitution does it say that they should be tracking you, tracing you, or any of that. That's, that's a total violation. But here's the thing. The way they're going to sell it, and the way they, the, the, everybody wearing their mask. Um, there was a story about this lady who, she's a communist mom, and she said if you don't wear a mask, she wanted to kill people. It, it, it's, it's getting deranged. I mean, it's at the point of derangement. But I wanted to talk about the foster care issue because I think a lot of um, times these children that are from broken homes um, get mixed up in the system. And... Um, we hope that when you hear the cases that go to court, the ones that have to go to court, I mean, child abuse and neglect, um, a family being poor, it does not constitute for child abuse and neglect, by the way. You can be poor and be a good parent, you know. Um, it, they put a lot of pressure on families. They put a lot of pressure on parents that are good parents, you know. It's... Um, that's why I don't think it's as widespread as you think. Uh, I think it's a way, it's a tool. Just like what I said, feminism is the woman who rides the beast. I believe that's the scripture that we're going to be talking about. Um, I'm going to leave it there. There's going to be a link below. We're going to follow the post. We're going to go to Believer Central World Update. And I hope you follow that link. I want you to know more about this topic so that you can know and be informed on the issues, especially when it comes to the issues in the church. Thank you, and God bless you guys.